Akureyri with overcast clouds and some sunshine. Take a look around the fjord. The waterfall is actually a geothermal fall. The water source was discovered during the building of the road tunnel. The tunnel allows winter travel with a higher level of safety than climbing over the high mountain pass, which is often deeply blanketed by snow. The town with its cathedral, whose spires give the impression of being giant organ pipes. Our whale watching boat departs. Flashing blue square indicates our cabin B27. Out in the fjord with a lot less cloud cover than in the early morning. An old fishing processing factory. Village houses. This house really blends into its natural surroundings. Is this a farm with guest chalets? Meeting other whale watching boats as the captain points out a nearby humpback whale. A very disappointing trip. A long time to get there and not much seen. The luck of whale spotting. Our boat captain is not as good as the one at Issafjorda tending to keep turning the boat so that the bows were head onto the whales, meaning those who were on the side got less of a view. Heading back to port. All I can tell you is this is a statue of a little fisherman standing in the harbour area. A plane flies into the town's airport. Heading up town and turn to see the next group of whale watchers boarding the Homosol. Where to next? Google Translate is always a help. It is the local cathedral for us, which is having the stairway up through the park replaced. The magnificent cathedral facade silhouetted in the midday sun. I look around the building. Well wrapped up well for the nippy wind blowing for much of the day. Before we head inside to view the colourful stained glass windows. A freeze of biblical events. Reflections in a polished table. Back in town for coffee in this lovely dark blue building. A charm style wall decoration on a shop selling home crafts. We are sitting on our balcony as we leave Akureyri, viewing the thermal waterfall. In this small village with its church. A last look as we exit the fjord after leaving Akureyri. Two sea days till we arrive in Edinburgh.
We will take part in a three-mile sponsored walk for the charity Teenage Cancer Trust during this sea break.